dribble after the after the set. <laughs> Hazel's be my super key partner. Like, yeah, over on this side. I just said exactly. Like, yeah, on this Hazel, side. Oh, no, Wagner. So, if I'm getting served down my line and they're not serving my partner, I can just start my serve key here. And I'll let Wagner, hey, you got this middle. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the ball is hitting here, just boom, right at me. Right. Does that make sense? That's five serves. Yeah, I'll take, they take more of them, they can go down your line. You can always. They see a guy like, great, I'm just going to try to get it. And then, no, it's, that's five serve. That's swing. That's swing. Oh, swing. Does that make sense, Jesse? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I thought you wanted to switch teams. I was like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and, and teams pick up on it. Like, you, you'll get served a lot more. Yeah, and then if you get served out of line, you can take more middle than shouting, hey, serve my line. Serve it, I dare you. Yeah. And if you get it, I'm going to turn, pass, we're going to score. Does that make sense? There you go. Yep, serve it. Oh, oh. got ice. <laughs> <laughs> the timer, the timer works. Cold glass ice tea. <laughs> One five. Oh, that's a little bit of 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 a little Anywhere in front. I'm going to try to push more in the middle, so it's on your shoulder. Okay, sure. You just got to step close and go down. Two five. Uh, okay. Oh, one, one five. One five? Two five. Two five. Okay. Yeah. Two five. This is there. There you go, 6 2. Yep. Fine. There you go, 7 2. Yeah, that's basically. Is this close? I mean, that's like, for fuck's sake. Um, because I 
talk about it. Let's talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. Eight three. Yeah, you want to leave this on while we talk? That was awesome, man. Yeah, sure. We can bring the camera over. Ooh. It picks up everything. I don't know if you want to be on it or. Yeah, okay. like... uh, 
Uh, I'll put, leave this ball right here. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I had fun. That was fun. Yeah, okay. So let's talk about that again. What happened? We were serving more Jesse, right? Patsy yeah. broke down first, right? But where, where, were they, where, where were we serving you first? Let's figure that out. Um, short middle, I think. Yeah, short center. Yeah, they were making them come up. Okay, short middle, kind of short to the line a little bit. So I think the first thing you always need to recognize is where am I being served. Mm -hmm. And we were serving short because you tend to come early on your approach, so let's make that shrink your approach and come in early. So how do we relieve it? Well, we obviously got to wait on our approach. You're pa I thought you were passing pretty well for the most part. Second thing is, you can start sh shifting more middle, more middle. Because so they're called times to try to hit you down your line. Ah, uh, so score, done. But make them, like, yeah, make, make second the, guess what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, make the server doing. make a change. I'll give you, like, it was a 2018 Manhattan final. Jake was playing Phil. They won the face. Steve Rutherford and Taylor's playing. Best, the best ball he's ever played. Lights out. Second set, <coughs> they were up. No, they're starting to make everyone. So Phil was, like, in the middle of the court. And Jake was like, I'm going to I'm going to go for the glory play. Yeah. Jumps her down. Like, guess what happened? Phil got the pass. Converted. Yeah. Went back. Got a block. And soon enough, third set, and they lose. Remember, Jake, I, 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 used to, I, I used to listen to Sandcast, and Jake was talking about, like, yeah, I, I actually just kept serving with Nick. That kind of changed the tide. Yeah. It did, because it builds in rhythm now, and they're all that pressure, because Nick's getting hammered with serves. Float, jump, float, jump, float, jump. Uh -huh. Then they throw, they try to be sneaky and get an ace on Phil. If they scored, that would have been the game. Right. That would have been hands down the game, yeah. but they didn't. Wait for him to go to sleep? Yeah. yeah. Like, not be ready, kind of ready just to take some core, but boom, convert. That if he got that is, they would have won that game here. They would have, Steve would have finished the game, but that, that was a chop, that was a change. So does that make sense? Yeah. So if, if your partner's getting served, to the very short, short, start shifting over. Shrink the court for him, shrink the court, shrink the court. It makes it easier on your end, so you don't have to move two ways. And it now makes it as a strategic thing of do we keep serving him or do we put down the line? And if you do serve down the line, you're ready for it. You're going to be on that ball like, I don't know, like a 2012 end of year party or whatever. Does that, does that make sense? Or they could uh, potentially miss that serve. And exactly. Like, don't, don't serve him. Don't serve him. And, they, and then they have to serve him. Yeah, and then they miss. Or the well, point is we make the servers change. Yeah. The okay. second thing is, I have a system. Like, the ones you head out, good approaches. Everything, you're just a little underneath it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're more at that zero. At that, uh, mm -hmm. a, zero. He does zero A a lot. Yeah, so how do we fix it? We have a to lot. win. And the ones you scored, everything was here. And that just comes with timing on your approach. So I know what Bruno Schmidt does. You guys remember Bruno Schmidt? The Brazilian defender who won a gold medal in 2016 Olympics. He just retired this year. But he would hop until a set. So you're not going to start your approach when you're hopping. Mm -hmm. um, like Christian uh, Soram will like, just keep his feet moving. I think uh, so oh, you're, you're, you're talking about? Yeah. So it's some way to trick our brains and not be like, yeah. then soon enough all we have is a losing your Runway. We lose that runway, and especially on beach, indoor and beach. The bigger runway we have, the bigger, the bigger attack we can get. Yeah. Like even watch indoor guys. If this is the, the guys aren't like here, right? Right. Yeah. Even see like Nick Lucini, who's six foot tall. He's starting his approach so far back, but he needs that big runway to get over it. He's Tole, Wick with those Tole's, and all those big guys who are just like. Stomach over the net. Yeah. Does, does that make sense? Right. I think that's that's what we run into is um, that that space and distance between my uh, my my first pass to him and uh -huh. my second pass to me. It's trying to find the correct. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to find the correct spot to put the ball for him, for sure. and, and then I need you know so that I can get my good approach mm -hmm. and trust that. He's yeah. Gonna put that yeah. yeah you, you got a good setter. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna get you in the right spot, or if it's not perfect, get you in a good enough spot for you to use our technique and have that strong approach. Does that make sense? Yeah. So trust that like, you'd be like, no matter what, partner's going to give you like, that hittable set for me to do something. And those are the kind of two big things I saw. And that gave me kind of things. The, the game was a little close. We slowed it down a little bit. But we were, I had our strategy of, he told me, like, serve Jesse. And we went, and when he started getting aces on that serve, so I did exactly the same thing. Because yeah. if it's working, I'm not going to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. So we did the same thing. And then we didn't make that change early enough to start shifting middle. Make them to go down your line and kind of then you having to wait on that approach. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. I mean, partner balled out, man. You're a digging machine back there. <laughs> so like that's the one thing I want. Actually, we'll tie this into um in a game. Like we had our strategy, 
that's so you guys should have a strategy too. Like, what was your strategy against us? I know you, you served Jesus, but what were you trying to do on Jesus? I feel like the first game didn't serve. Yeah, we were kind of mindless. I think. Yeah. So we'll say the second game. What was the strategy of the second game? Like, it, uh, <clears throat> it was always like, yeah, serve Jesus. We're not gonna let you hit. But for sure. Uh, on the second one. It's just the general idea. Yeah, I was so, trying to serve him shorter. Yeah, take his approach. Make move. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll challenge you. So where does, where did Jesus not hit the entire match, both sets? Uh, he, he, he did. did. One, he, he hit two uh -huh. in between us. Yeah, he hit in the middle on each side. But he then he also cut one, so I feel like he did hit all his. Uh, no hard angle. But no down the line. No, he, he did. It when I pulled and he did right out. Yeah, that, that was oh, seam line. They like, never oh. true. Oh, like, like on the line, boom. No. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what we said. Like, Jesus doesn't go line, so we just need to double up on his angle. No, yeah, no, so he ran deep, deep doesn't. Yeah. So oh, I love true. straight down line. I like. Yeah, I mean, you're good at that. That, that. You're good at that swing, but Jesus did not hit that one. So it's like, mm -hmm. so you can't do it open, right? Yeah, just hit it. Yeah. If it's like, go hit, hit that ball. That's why that's why I cheated up on uh, uh -huh. on uh, up here and he went right in between yeah. Wagner and I, mm -hmm. and then it happened again on the other side. But Wagner said he was staying on the line. Yeah, so that, that, that that's different. But this point is, if he's not hitting true line, don't even need to think about it. Yeah. Like go ahead. If you hit that, hit it. Go ahead. If you hit it three times, we're gonna take the next one. Mm -hmm. We give you one to see if you can do it. Right. Okay, let's see if he does it. Hits it twice. Okay, we got the next one. The next one that when that same set comes that you hey 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 just hit that line we're gonna get that line yeah. we're never gonna we're, we're never gonna get three you get one you will let you have one will prove to us you can hit two we're gonna get number three does that make sense so the first one's like maybe you're lucky you're yeah exactly like, oh, okay, like, yeah, you yeah exactly so, so it, oh, sorry go ahead yeah, so if we think he's he's hitting angle and angle is not his line do we want the blocker to block angle or do we want the digger to pick it up that's entirely up to the defense. What's what's a better strategic play though? Do you want your blocker to try and block it? I would say, well, let's backtrack it because beach is a very abstract sport. It's never like blocker just blocking everything. Yeah. If this person is putting some absolute muster on the ball, like a freaking TJ DeFalco kind of swing, who just whoosh, just absolute nose breaking hits, let's let the blocker get in there and take that ball. Yeah. And if someone like like I'm more, I don't have that crazy. I can put I can put some muster on the ball. But I'm not the close someone's head off kind of guy. I can, I put more more like hit hard, but more location. Probably easier for the defender to get because I can maybe. Because I let me backtrack. I'm good at hitting hands. That's what I've always been really good at. I've always been just for whatever reason. It's always been a, a natural thing to hit hands. So let's let, let the defender take that. Because I'm trying to find those hands to get those deflections. Yeah. That makes it depends on hit more specifically what okay. kind of player. But then it's like if you're digging it, why have him block it? Or why have if you're doing white, have Jesse block. Or if you're getting pinged off, yeah, let your blocker come in there. Okay. Take some pressure. Does that, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. It just kind of goes to like what's working. If something's not working, we need to change. If something's working, we don't change. We keep what we're doing because it's working. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? It's like, yeah, this would be a bad example. It's like when you're in math class, they give you a formula to use. And it's proven to work. Then on the test, you do something completely different. Yeah. And you don't get any answers right just because yeah. of that. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. I feel like the way we split lock is kind of like... That was my next question. Right yeah, it's it's kind of impromptu. Like, uh -huh. it's just like, well, if you're up or you hit, you're up, you know? It's like, uh -huh. or I think he loves, like, going up, but I actually like defending more. Okay, so if, you, if that's the case, why don't you, why don't you just run up? Yeah. Uh, it's my my decision-making skills on, oh, he's five feet off the net, I need to peel, like, have been really bad. Ah, so, nah, you're fine. so I need to work on, like, identifying exactly when I need to peel for that pass and then, and then uh -huh. get to my spot that I'm calling. Yeah, so I've been, and, that's, and that's something that the more you do, it takes yeah. time off. I mean, I've been getting better this year at it. Yeah, for sure. I'm doing it a lot more. I think that the guys I used to play with, like, weren't big hitters or anything, so we always, no one ever blocked. Now I'm, like, blocking a lot because uh, the guys I play with are it could get hit. Okay, yeah, like, the That shorter guy that we played uh, at CBBA, like, it, it wasn't proven that this guy could hit a ball down your throat. So I'm like, why are you blocking angle yeah, yeah. on this guy? Yeah. So it's like, and get always, off the net. Like, we can dig this guy. Yeah. yeah. And they're short, like five eight, like old dudes. You know they're just gonna be crafty. Yeah. yeah. So then just yeah. stay back, like, yeah. Swing. Yeah. Like, my just, instincts was like not even to attempt to block these guys. Yeah. You know? No, it's, it's like swing, go ahead, swing. See, see if you can score. 
Yeah. Like, it's always, a, the whole point of beach ball, I mean, every type of sport is just constant adjustment. Constant. Yeah, like, it's, that's the one thing that's hard about beach ball as a spectator sport. Like, basketball, you see strategic, you see the changes happen throughout the right. game. It's noticeable as being beach, you don't see it. But if you really watch closely, you'll see every three or four points, they got something different coming. The hitter's doing something different. They're hitting a different spot. They're hitting a different swing. The blocker's doing something. They're pulling a different area. Or they're even changing where they hit their set from. Like, when, like I'll go back to like when that quarantine tournament AVP thing. So I remember my coach who helps out with them, the coaches them, they're trying to change Try and Trevor's set. They're like, well, why would we change now? With set, and they said, well, you're not beating Phil. It's set, it's set like four feet off. Well, why would we change it right now? We got one tournament. Well, they're not winning. Like, you're not winning, so why keep doing it? Yeah. And then they did, and then they won. They started having space. They started moving the ball around. They started. They weren't swinging as hard because they were wrong, but they started having space. Point is, always change. Always pay attention. Always adjust to what the team is doing. Does that kind of make sense? And I would say, if you like, if you like defense, you like blocking. I think it's easier just to have one person doing one thing. I personally, I like to find that rhythm of being being on defense or being a blocker at the net, whatever it may be. So if you want to, if you feel more comfortable running up, why not just run up? And then it's pretty even though. I mean, I get a fair amount, of, fair amount of blocks too. Yeah, but we'll, we'll say yeah. like if you like I mean, defense, if tall, you yeah, if you like running up, I would just do that. And then if it doesn't work, always yeah. change, right? I mean, always, always, it. always make the change. But we'll go what, last thing. Go back to what you said about. I would say, if you see the hitter coming in soft, like you're paying attention, they're coming in like slow. Mm -hmm. They're gonna shoot. Mm -hmm. You can't swing, right? That's why I'm always saying like come in hard, come in hard. Mm -hmm. Because they come in slow. They can't swing. Mm -hmm. And if they're six feet off the net, so I'm not watching the pass uh, where, the, where that, where that uh, second ball is being passed. I'm watching the hitter with his approach more so. Because, like, yes, yes. Because, like, even the step passes off the net, say it passes like seven, they, they can still put some way on the net. Yeah. And they can still hammer. Yeah. I'll give you a funny story at the end of this story. Uh, edit. So, what, you see the well, first, you see the pass. Yeah. It's insist. I assume you guys are running dive plays, right? Threes and fours. No, so, okay. no. it's two. Yeah, so don't. I, I internally, I'm running threes and fours, but uh, I don't. But it's, throw it's, out. It's, it's never an audible. No, like you're on the side, you're no, doing no, a double. No. Okay, so don't even worry about. It. First thing, you see the pass. Second thing is you see their approach, and the last thing you see where they're hanging from. If they're five feet off the net, you're not going to take much court. Just mm -hmm. well, if they're way on the net, they can have all those angles, then rub on it. Mm -hmm. So last story was a. Uh, I remember this. I was. 17 playing in an open. Playing this one guy named Colin Irons. He was a player, a big guy, like 6'7, six, 6'8, six, big dude. And my partner served, shanked the pass. The, the partner said, I started pulling. He goes, Stay up, stay up, stay up. And this hit was right on the net. He just <laughs> pier bounces over the pier. <laughs> He's like, That's why you don't pull early. And I was like, right. Never get that again. I've never forgot that ever since. Because like, just because the pass is up doesn't mean we can't get the Yes, and then again, if that ball is tight like that, and we're on the net, good luck hitting it, because your guy hitters all over the place looking at it. But if the set's tight, your partner hears, no one, no one, you know they're just going to yeah. well, well, not me, pull Yahtzee. For me, I, I judge whether this person can hit the ball, For sure. then I can't dig. Mm -hmm. if, if I can dig it, then it, it, won't, it won't matter whether I block or For sure. Oh, yeah, sure. And, then, and sometimes if they kind of can hit, I'm just doing it to intimidate them. Yeah, for sure. Because I want them to hit out. I want them to hit around me. Yeah, Most sense. of the time, I'm ready to pull. Because I, 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 I want to dig. Because I think mm -hmm. I can dig no but, matter what. I say I can dig. Yeah, I think especially at the, your guys are playing at B's, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing guys aren't going to be since Very few. Very hitting, few are hitting it down your throat. Great angles. I was saying that uh, our last tournament, like, everyone was about six foot. Yeah. yeah. So then, so then and Alex was the best player. He was playing against him. So it is. Like, yeah, so then it's like, stay up with the net. If the ball's tight, yeah, we're on that. We're throwing that down. We're hitting it. If not, just pull. Let them swing. Dig it. If you don't dig, then stay up and change. Yeah. I'm really, and if it's that scenario, I'm only trying to block. If I can get, like, if I know my hands are already on the ball, like, like it's a foot off, and I'm like, yeah, I've got a good chance. Because mm -hmm. I feel like even with blocking, you can still get tooled. You could, you know, you could still miss the block and... All these other things, so uh -huh. I'm like, if they can't even hit it, I'm just gonna dig it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think you guys, so are you guys playing at the pier? 
Yeah. Yes. Is it Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. 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 Is that October? Is that Sunday? October 10th. We said come in here. I think I go watch that because I'm playing in the. Me and my 65 partner are playing the dinosaur tournament. <laughs> so that, that's that, the name? Yeah, it's, it's when you're doing a partner combined age of 80 minimum. Oh, wow. So what are you guys combined? 80 minimum. We are. He's 65, I'll be.